you guys welcome back to my channel let's become a snake today is this the destiny holder or recipe holder i don't know what they call you I had the perfect snake earrings already. I decided to put on this gold choker and I tried to do baby hairs, which make a lot of sense with this costume idea and makeup idea, but uh, I'm not a pro, so they're kind of a fail, but this one right here is very strong. So I hope it stays, cause that'd be great. The reason I got the idea to do a black anaconda, I guess you could say this Halloween, is simply because snake skin was so trendy this year. I have a few snakeskin things in my closet, and then I also have some black snakeskin, snake skin, snake skin. Yep. So if you have any snake skin, put that together, throw on some fishnets, do your makeup inspired by this look that I'm going to show you. So I did already do my base, which was literally just foundation. You do not need concealer because we are going to pack our eyes with black. And that is the first thing we're going to do after we put on our eyeshadow base. So this snake look is going to be super easy, but super glamorous. Starting off with this Anastasia eye primer. They look so gross with the like foundation mixed in. They literally looked so good. So good. And then five minutes passed by. See, I can't do this hair thing. Also, the brows will be kind of non-existent during this look. Okay, cool. We're ready to start applying our beloved black. I did that nice and messy. I covered my brows. So I'm picking up this KKW Beauty Palette just for the very, very matte, cool toned black in here. The gray that's in here too would be really nice. We are just going to messily put this all up on our lid and our eyebrows, y'all. And I'm talking big brush, your black, pat, 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 and go ahead in there, get all up into it. Put some music on. Let's go. So you do just don't want to pass your nose. And when you get to that like area, you kind of want to draw a line up like that. Make it taller. And then we're going to connect that like a triangle above our brow to the rest of our eye. Easy. That kind of looks like a yin and a yang. <laughs> okay. Looking freaky dinky. With that same brush, literally going to go into the black and now put that under my eyes. This is why I'm saying you literally don't need concealer because we're going to bring this black all the way down to our under eye circles. Okay. Do you guys see how messy this is? Like it's so messy. That's what you want. Now I'm going to take this like blending brush. I'm going to put it in this gray so if you have just a very cool toned color that you really don't use a lot because it's kind of an ugly color maybe for smoky eyes i don't know we're gonna go around the black not necessarily to blend it out but kind of to make it more messy a little less harsh on the edges don't mess the bottom up because then you'll start blending it out and i actually love the patchiness of that now it's time for some fishnets. If you have ever tried to be a mermaid, you are familiar with this. Having fishnets is very handy. I'm very lazy. I definitely have many black fishnets, but I mean, makeup comes out easy in the wash. So I'm just using this nude pair and I kind of like the holes on it. It's pretty small. So I'm literally just gonna place this on my eye. So usually when it comes to this, you wanna like kind of put this all over your face so it stays there. But I find whenever I've done that in the past that it makes space. So instead of it being flat, exactly where you want it to be if the fabric is over your entire face and say it's right here there's going to be space in between the fabric and your skin here instead of the fabric being placed right on top of your skin making it easy for a clean scale eyeshadow shape for that i'm going into her sister kylie jenner's birthday powder what what did i just say birthday palette this is the golden one i don't remember does it say 24 her 24th birthday she came out with like a gold line i did a whole video on it but i'm gonna be using fine metal there's these two superb golds but fine metal specifically has a little bit of green in it which i think is absolutely perfect to do like a serpent type medusa type makeup look here i'm literally gonna hold it like at two three mm, three different spots here this is very very odd so maybe i can hold it like that and I'm gonna keep my eyes still. 
<laughs> so funny. I'm taking a little brush like so, dipping it into this fine metal color, and I'm gonna have some fun. Really shading anywhere I want to on top of this black. And all the way down to my eyelashes, just doing a couple layers so that it's vibrant. Ready? So dope. And then the best part of this is we don't have to worry about being the exact same over here. This is why this tutorial is so easy because it's just so messy. I'm gonna find my points in which I'd like to hold it. Scow. Okay, now I'm just going to apply some lashes. Have fun applying whatever lashes you want to. These are gonna be like thin, but super long. I literally can't even tell you where these are from. It's definitely light. Like I just have a couple of these. I'm pretty sure I got them free for a company, but it's, it's not lashes I would recommend you'd use or buy yourself with your own money. So let's just categorize these in like 99 cent type of lash. So I'm gonna use it for a Halloween look, okay? But just anything like super like, you know, creepy, long, not too, too thin because this is too dope to be covered up. Also, we do have a little fallout underneath and guess what? We are gonna leave that. The messier, the better, you guys. I'm also gonna be putting on bottom lashes because that would look fire. I cannot tell you what specifically these lashes are because uh, I've gotten a little messy with putting my lashes back into like their correct boxes uh, with the correct like name on it. But I will tell you that Anastasia has amazing, amazing lashes and bottom lashes from ABH Norvina. Hi babes, I'm back. I look super freaking cool. Now that I have waited for all of this glue, to dry, favorite mascara, really just something to voluminize everything, make everything even more black, especially the bottom lashes. But we're gonna make these falsies look really spiky first. Come closer, don't be scared. Love it. And then lastly, for the eyeball, I was gonna go in, I don't know why I say eyeball so much, but I was gonna go in with black. I kinda wanna go in with this green. So this is how it looks on my hand. It's really, really pretty. I'm trying to warm it up on my hand to get that really good pigmentation in there around all of this black, BRB. Okay, I did the best I could do, but I think it's really cool. Let me get this off here now. It kinda wants to stay, but it's all right. It goes with the vibe. Now we're gonna do our cheeks. We look so freaking cool. And how easy is this so far? I know. <laughs> Please warn me next time. I'm sorry. <laughs> We're gonna contour now. Actually gonna contour, do a nice deep contour with my Charlotte Tilbury airbrush bronzer. I want it to be pretty deep. I'm gonna blend out like just a little bit, but not a whole lot. I want it to be dramatic like that. I'm gonna do a little under my chin, like right here. Not under my jawline, just under my chin. And then I'm just gonna add some on my nose, not necessarily contouring, but like just like on my nose. Boom, now we have some more fun stuff planned. We're gonna do the exact same thing that we did on our eyes with our trusty fishnets, but this time on the top of our cheeks. Okay, gonna do this. I'm gonna use the same color on our cheekbone. So kind of like blush, not surpassing the contour, but I'm making this nice and sharp. Okay, ready? Cute. The only thing about using the fishnets is you can't really do it again. Can't do it again or you're gonna mess up the shape. So I would say the only thing I would fix is put a little bit more here, but I'm afraid. I feel like I can't do it again. <laughs> so ridiculous. Then I'm gonna use that color, the only color we've been using. I'm gonna highlight my nose with it, give myself a little ball, and I'm gonna go to my cupid's bow tail in the center of my chin. So this is how it's looking, which is so creepy and cool and glamorous. We're gonna do the lips now. So for the lips, I'm literally just gonna use this black face paint. It's from Babasuka. I get it off Amazon. I have a lot of their face paints. I am also going to make my lip shape really pointy. I'll show you how. So I'm gonna line them. And when I get here, I'm gonna overline and make sure I'm able to make this really sharp. Overline, super sharp. I would never wear black lipstick on a normal basis but it'd be making your teeth look so good. 
Now, my idea with the lips is gonna be the same exact thing we've been doing. See, if y'all don't do this, because I know it looks like we put in hella effort, but y'all see how easy this is. If y'all don't do this and tag me and send me these costumes, you lazy as hell. And also, like I said, if you just have anything snake skin, say you have like pink snake skin, make the scales pink. Do pink instead. You know what I mean? Such a great costume idea. You're welcome. I'm gonna focus on the center of my lip, like just right here <gasps> yo that is so cool this is one of my favorites ever try not to touch my lips really together but this is this is so dope something you could also do is take literally jewels this would be a good color to put with this look actually this is a perfect this is a perfect jewel. Do I want to add something? Because it's already fantastic. But these match so well. Other than that, my loves, we are freaking done, okay? Anything else to elevate your look? Black nails, the accessories, and just make sure, again, if you have snake skin, that's anything. If it's purple, do purple. It would look so dope. So, yeah. Basically, you have no excuse to not do this look. So I'm gonna need the receipts. I'm gonna need you to send me your looks. This was so much fun. This was literally so quick, so easy. Not the jewel falling. Stay up, honey bun. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video and make sure you are subscribed so that you don't miss another one coming up because girl, Halloween is my thing. Make sure you follow my socials because I'll be posting like pictures and stuff of all of my looks or if you just want more into my life as a human and not a snake. Um, I love you guys. Happy Halloween. Bye.